Okay, we ban, we pick first, and it's Hanamura. What do we want? Esmoden? Do we want Esmoden? That's a mouth ale ban. Okay. So we gonna ban Esmoden. Let's fly. Let's fly. Interesting start. We want to go for Rhaegar. I'm fine with that. Let's uh, let's do what now? Let's grab Genji. Yes, let's grab Genji. So like, if we actually go for Chromie, this can be an awesome matchup for us. Uh, we're gonna just fly in as Genji, secure the kill after Chromie brought them to like 30% health. Gonna be a grand old time. Except now they have the best counter, the Uther. And the grey main, now I'm super threatened. Just Uther alone shuts you down so hard as Genji. Not much you can really do about that, sadly. So I'm gonna ban like an Anubarak. I feel like an Anubarak can be a... Uh, unless we ban Varian. Unless we ban Varian. Let's ban Varian. I don't want to have Varian and Uther counting me down. Seems like a bad time. And there we go. All the good tanks are banned. What's it gonna be? Leoric and Stitches. It can work. Although, I'm not sure about Chromia then, if we have Stitches. Her follow up is too slow for Stitches, like she can't just... Cause usually what happens, right? Uh, Stitches throws out his hook, and then you immediately drop skill shots in front of him, and by the time he pulls the target in, skill shots hit, they die. Chromia's skill shots take longer than Stitches' hook, so what will actually happen, he will hook in, and then there will be another second before uh, Chromia will hit them uh, with her abilities. So they can run away, they can get saved. Not the... not the... not the best. Now they have a lot of peel. A lot of shielding, like Uther Zavia, that's gonna be really hard to breach. Yeah, I won't be able to do much this game as Genji. Yeah, shutting me down completely. Unless it's gonna be like super chaotic team fight, I don't think I can achieve anything. Because if we only burst one person down, that's like, they just protect them. Uther healing Xavier shields and uh, now I dived in and didn't secure the kill and now I'm dead. But this is good at the same time because I need Genji practice and this is probably the best way to do it. Like against a team that's going to punish you for your mistakes very very hard. So that I will try to make less mistakes, if that makes any sense. Can I jump over this? I think I can't. You would think that I can't do this. You would think that this is not possible, right? What? What the hell? Okay. I had no idea that you can do it. Oh, that's... That is interesting now. Okay. That will completely change how I approach this map then. Because since you can jump over here, then there are so many heroes that you can use this to like cut the path a bit. Like uh, cut down your respawn timer a little bit. Just a little bit. So that can be obviously helpful. Oh, we don't have any wave clear. Chromie will help as much as she can, but it's not the greatest. Not the greatest. So it would be nice if Stitches didn't hook somebody through a time trap. Because that will defeat the purpose of the hook. But it should be alright. Destroy this fort. 
Well, yeah, with Zarya there, there is now not much we can do in terms of damage. We, they have also they have Zarya, we can... We'll pro... pro, pro oh! That was beautiful! We got two kills there, that was like the best we could have hoped for. Okay, 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 okay. Do we go for strike at heart? Um, maybe? Uh, unless we want to go for Shuriken Mastery, which is also kinda neat. To break through their shields a bit better. Okay, Rhaegar, have fun with that globe. Let's jump into the payload. There we go. With our agile dismount, now we can jump again. And we also mount up, mounted up. We are on our mount. So that's good. Okay, what is happening? Okay, Falstead is flying in. That's what's happening. Oh, and they got the, the healing thing. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna stand here so that the payload doesn't move back. That's not not gonna help us in the long run. So yeah, just trade some damage back and forth. As Genji, you can do that relatively easy. Like you have this triple attack, uh, actually really good attack auto attack damage. So going in, getting that auto attack in, and just disengaging a bit can be really really good. Yeah, let's go team. Let's punish them for going top. They didn't punish us for staying bottom, right? Uh, so let's do it. Let's punish them. And then we can rotate and defend our fort. And that will be insane. That will be really good. That was a good play, by the way. That's exactly how you want to be playing this map. Good job by our whole team realizing that. I'm gonna go for dodge because Greymane falls dead. Zabia will, uh, like burns through those charges really fast but some defense against Greyman and Falstead would be nice would be really really nice okay they are now bottom so our our fort is now threatened but maybe we can push this in a bit just a bit not not too much I mean, there's no point in trading damage into Artanis, he has shields anyway, so like, who cares? What is happening there? Okay, those blocks are already paying off, which I definitely like. And Artanis died. A uh, good cleanse by Usur. Well, that was a little bit too late of a kill move. I'm trying to play defensively so that I don't get punished for bad engages. Okay. We weren't able to finish him off. Maybe I could have went for it with my... Uh, uh, with my Swift Strike, but I didn't want to. That would be like that uh, thing I'm talking about. I don't want to be overextending too much. Let's play more or less safe. Wait for our team to make good things happen. And uh, just uh, capitalize on that. Battle 
Done I'm just pressuring them as much as I can. Wait, what is happening here? That seems so weird. Oh, poor Crummy. Okay. So far so good. We should have pushed top now with Sartanis dead maybe. But I don't, I don't know what we are supposed to do now. Like we are kind of at the point where nothing is really happening. Let's go. Dragon Blade. Maybe we need to get like that uh, healing camp. That would help a lot. That would really help a lot. Is Sonya okay? Yeah. Uh, let's stitch us grab it. Probably. As uh, like uh, a bruiser melee sort of a hero. Do we fight? Okay, we got some value. <laughs> I must retreat, but I'll be that was so dumb. I should have died. Rhaegar saved me so hard. Like, I messed up the Dragon Blade so bad, it's just this pure luck like that I even, like, got some kills and didn't die in the process. Now, let's just ignore that, let's just push our payload in. I don't think we can do much there. Like, yeah, let's just push it. Let's just push it real good and it's all gonna be fine. Enemy payload firing. It's a lot faster to push it with more people than just with one person. So I think it's worth it, so long as they can defend, and they should be able to with Chromie. Can rejoin the fight, the fight faster, so I'm gonna push this in, let's see just rotate. And then I'm gonna rejoin my team. Oh, okay, so they actually made it work, good job. We need to get another fort too now. Oh, that's fun. Actually, let's do boss. Let's actually do boss. I like the boss idea a bit better. Maybe? Oh, well, let's do fort and then boss. I think both things are a good, a good thing. Well, I'm definitely getting the Genji value. Don't let it go to your head. Keep fighting. Jump. On the move. So right now we win a team fight. We can do boss and then end the video game. Nah. Our enemy. 
Let's push our in. And then with with the boss, we just win the game. Let's go. We just won the video game. Uh, too bad that Zavia's uh, explosion zone. You can't really charge through it. So that really sucks. But this should be this should be okay. Just uh, kill the boss and then uh, kill them. There we go. Good job, team. Well played. That was a Genji game, kind of. Uh, Uso made a horrible mistake just using his uh, Divine Storm randomly. He should always have waited for me uh, to dive with the Dragon Blade and only then pop his uh, Divine Storm. And that would be the window where I would just die. Uh, so... Greyman played really well though. I liked that. Too bad that they w weren't able to like properly fight us. Because they just couldn't handle the Genji pressure. But everyone else also was putting up enough... Like, everyone else was uh, putting up enough pressure on the enemy team. Uh, to the point where Usur felt like he had to use his Divine Storm uh, without even hitting me and things like that. Uh, so definitely good job on my team. And my execution was awful. I have no idea how it worked. But, like... For example, the first time when I used my uh, Dragon Blade, I should have died. I dived all the way to the enemy fort, I messed up some of the resets, some of the kills. So I should have been dead there, but it still was enough to break them somehow.